I'm going to be hiking the PCT starting in late March and I really wanted to run by you all of the gear that I definitely will not be taking with me on the Pacific Crest Trail. Let's go. Hello fellow hiker and world traveller Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Okay I'm just going to run through this selection of gear now and show you what I'm ditching for the PCT and in 2020 and what I'm going to be taking with me instead. So let's begin with uh, water treatment. So I'm going to be ditching the Noc Vecto water bladder and the Soya Micro Squeeze and I'm literally just going to be taking the Chemical Drops by Aquamira and the Soya Squeeze, uh, standard Soya Squeeze filter without the bag. So the reason why I'm ditching the Soya Micro Squeeze is because while it's a great filter, the flow isn't as good as the actual Soya Squeeze regular. It does pretty much the same job but because the flow isn't as good, I just think, you know, I might as well take something with a decent flow. I don't want to have to keep back, back flushing this thing. And as for the Noc Vecto water bladder, this thing just is so flimsy and I've broken two of them. Whether I'm strangling them or not, <laughs> I don't know, but it's like the, the neck on this thing has got a hole in it and I've only used it twice. Um, I'm, I was being really gentle with this thing and I'm just paranoid that the filter might break, it might get clogged and I might not be able to back flush it, something might go wrong, whereas with the drops, as so long as I don't break the bottles and lose all the drops and the chemicals inside, then I should be absolutely fine. So, yeah, gonna be taking the Aquamira part A and B drops and just the soya squeeze, and I'll be putting that on top of a smart water bottle and just drinking straight from the cap. It's good to have two because I'm gonna keep using the drops and then if the water is too silty or really dirty, I can use the filter. Uh, and at least I've got a backup water filtration system uh, if one of them fails. Okay, the next item of gear that I'm going to be switching out for the PCT is my Anker PowerCore 13,400 milliamp hour power bank with Qualcomm Quick Charge. And I'm gonna be switching it for the bigger uh, 22,000 milliamp hour Anker PowerCore battery. It's got a USB type C input, so it's got quicker charging than this one. Really good power bank but this one's gonna be better. Okay, the next item that I'm going to be switching out, I mean, they're both fantastic gadgets, there's nothing wrong with one or the other, but I'm gonna be switching out my 66i, fantastic piece of navigation, GPS equipment, uh, but it's just too big, too bulky, it's perfect for winter hiking out here in the highlands and in the Lake District, but because it's so big, I just went for a really small Garmin InReach Mini. I'm not gonna be needing maps on this thing, I just need it for the SOS button, if not for myself, for somebody else. Um, and I can put little updates on it and ping off updates so you can check where I am and things like that. I just think it's a really uh, handy bit of kit and many people have said that they highly recommend bringing at least some kind of tracking device with you just in case. So 66i, really cool piece of kit, but I'm not gonna use it for the PCT. The next piece of kit that I'm going to be switching out is my Lecky trekking pole. Um, again, like there was, hardly anything wrong with it except for the rubber handle it gets really sweaty it's quite a heavy trekking pole for its size um, it could do with being a bit shorter I didn't really like the strap on it I mean there's nothing really terribly wrong with it but after look, looking at some reviews and checking it out I decided to use the black diamond alpine carbon cork they've got a cork handle so it's better for sweaty palms it's got a grip that goes a little bit further down so if you're on a slope and it's on your left you can hold it here so you don't have to keep adjusting the size of it. I just think it's better designed for through hiking. The straps are a lot more comfortable. The clips are really strong. I can get snow baskets on there really easy by just screwing them on. So yeah, it's just a better, more versatile trekking pole than the Lecky. So the next bit of kit that I'm going to be switching out is my Trespass Rustler down puffy jacket. It's great, it's, it was cheap, it was 40 pounds. Um, I've had it for ages, it's still very warm, but it does smell quite a bit. So I'm going to be switching it out for my Patagonia Micro Puff Synthetic Hoodie. Uh, because it's synthetic, it's better in moist conditions. Neither of these are good if they're wet, they won't keep you warm at all if they're saturated with water, but in moist conditions, in humid conditions, the synthetic is the better option. This actually packs down a lot smaller than the Trespass one. So the Patagonia Micro Puff is definitely the one that's gonna be for the PCT. It's not as warm as the down one, but I'm gonna have other layers to take with me. And but yeah, it's an obvious decision and one that was very easy to make. The next item of gear that I will not be taking on the PCT is my HMG 
packing pod. It's made out of Dyneema, so it's really strong, it's really light. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, I can still use it. Maybe over time, the seam sealing on it has got a little bit loose, so it's not as waterproof as it used to be. But because I've got a new backpack with a Dyneema pack liner, um, I just don't think this is necessary for putting my sleeping quilt in. So instead, I'm just gonna be stuffing the sleeping quilt straight into the pack liner first thing that goes in instead of having this extra step and having to stuff the sleeping quilt in this packing pod. Nothing wrong with it, just a conscious decision to remove that step and save some weight in the process. Okay, that brings me on to the next item that I will not be taking on the PCT and that is my Katabatic Gear Palisade 30 degree down sleeping quilt and I'm going to be switching it out for the Katabatic Gear Sawatch 15 degree down sleeping quilt. So as you can see, there's a pretty big size difference in these two quilts. Uh, I've got a really good comparison video on both of these, so there should be a button up here and a link in the description if you wanna go and check that out. But the reason that I've switched out the Palisade for the Sawatch is because the Sawatch is much warmer. I've chosen the wider fitting so I can wrap it right around my torso. I just didn't think that the Palisade would cut it for the entire trail. I didn't wanna to have to feel like I wanted to switch out the Palisade for a Sawatch halfway down the trail. I didn't want to get to the Sierra and be like, damn, this is too cold. I just wanted to make sure that I could have one quilt for the entire trip. Uh, I need some practice stuffing this down into the bottom of my backpack, but um, it should be fine. I've got plenty of extra room. Uh, so yeah, I'm ditching the Palisade. Again, a good quilt, but I'm ditching it for the PCT. And the next item that I will not be taking on the PCT is countless dry bags. Uh, on the PCT, I'm literally just going to be taking one dry bag for a small selection of clothes. Uh, instead of dry bags to separate things out, I'm going to be using Ziploc bags. And to keep my food in, I'm going to put the Ziploc bags with the food in inside an OP sack, which is basically an even tougher Ziploc bag. Uh, one, because they're lighter two because they're cheaper, and three, because they're see-through, you can see everything that's inside there. You're not gonna be rummaging around in these colored dry bags where you can't see exactly what's inside them. Uh, the only thing that I wanna keep in them is a small selection of clothes in just one dry bag. Ziploc bags, they will definitely keep all of your gear dry. Um, if they do break, they can be very easily replaced in a town. Last but not least, the final thing that I will not be taking on the PCT Sadly, it's my Hyperlite mounting gear 2400 Windrider backpack. This backpack was the first backpack that I've ever bought that was made out of DCF and was designed for ultralight backpacking. A fantastic bit of kit, it's super strong, it's waterproof, it's seam sealed, it's a very good design. But not too long ago, I switched it out for an Atom Packs Atom Plus with a Dyneema pack liner. It's got a bottom pocket, it's got a removable hip belt, it's got shoulder strap pockets as standard, it's the same size, it's lighter than the Hyperlite mounting gear, it's more comfortable than my Hyperlite mounting gear and it's easier to pack with trekking poles and ice axes and things like that. It's just more geared up for the PCT than the Hyperlite mountain gear pack. I loved it, it was a great pack and it saw me really well and I still use it very occasionally for carrying like camera gear and things like that onto a location. Sometimes I even use it to do my food shopping. It's brilliant for that. If you ever go to Asda with one of these, you can just, instead of bringing like a plastic bag with you, you can just pack everything into this massive backpack and uh, stuff all your bottles and things on the outside. But yeah, sorry HMG, great pack, but I'm gonna be using the Atom Packs Atom Plus. Okay everybody, that's it. That's pretty much most of the things that I'm gonna be switching out for the PCT. And uh, to be quite honest with you, these things I'll actually be switching out uh, for most of my trekking in the future. So I'd say that that's a 2020 gear switch out for this year. Campfire question, let us know in the comment section below exactly what gear you're gonna be switching out for the PCT. Is there anything in particular uh, that you'll be switching out for this year that you won't be using, that you did use last year? Uh, let us know below, we would really love to hear from you. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.